In 2013, the car industry broke the 200,000 mark with a total of 212,682 units sold. From January to March of this year, more than 60,000 cars were sold. This is due to the influx of disposable income produced especially by first-time car buyers. Of the thousands of brand new cars sold annually, there are bound to be vehicles that have escaped the quality standards of its manufacturers. These types of vehicles are described as lemons. We welcome the passage of the lemon law because we believe that this will be beneficial to uh, the consumers as well as the manufacturers and distributors. The defect actually is a non-conformity to these specifications. The defect should relate to uh, safety. Our manufacturers will be given the opportunity to repair. Philippine Lemon Law, which was signed by the President last month, aims to protect and promote the rights of buyers of automobiles from deceptive practices. However, it only covers brand new four-wheeled vehicles. The law does not cover motorcycles or second-hand vehicles. At first glance, the law seems to benefit only the car consumers. However, many owners of car manufacturing companies welcome the law because it will also benefit them in the long run. It clearly defines now the uh, procedure and how to determine whether the car is actually a lemon. The consumers are more confident now to buy uh, vehicles because aside from the express warranty by the manufacturers, we have the lemon law. That will also challenge uh, the manufacturers to even continue to improve the quality of the cars they produce. How does this law protect the rights of car consumers? What are the remedies that it proposes? And how will this law affect car manufacturing companies? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. Tonight, we will discuss your legal rights according to the newly approved Philippine Lemon Law. What you need to know about the Lemon Law and what you need to do to invoke your rights as a consumer under this law. Our guests for tonight are Undersecretary Victorio Mario Di Magiba of the Department of Trade and Industry and Gus Lagman, Chairperson of the Automobile Association of the Philippines. Good evening and thank you for being with us, gentlemen. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, Tori. So this is a very relevant topic because this law took into effect just last Thursday, August 7th. Seven. So a lot of people first ask, you lalo na yung mga hindi familiar with the word lemon <coughs> as standing for vehicles. Why is it called lemon law in the first place? Or why does it refer to defective cars when you say lemon? Yeah. Maybe uh, our uh, Aussie Gus would like, Gus to. Would like <laughs> to say. <laughs> well, what is usually referred to as lemon are those that um, are defective. And then after asking the manufacturer or dealer to repair the defect, uh, it breaks down again. Mm -hmm. And it's the same defect. So you bring it back uh, to the uh, dealer, and then it happens mm -hmm. over and over again. And I have some friends in the past who experienced this kind of thing. And that's what we usually refer to as a lemon, <clears throat> something that uh, uh, with defects could not be repaired. Mm -hmm. I read. Uh some reference materials that say the history of the word is the British slang for parang passing off when they say pa giving lemons it's passing off something defective as good so I guess that's one early 1900s pa daw yon. so maybe that's one of the reasons but uh, Yusek yeah, do you think um, this is uh, very welcomed I mean sino bang pinoprotect nitong law na to actually Going back to the first question, why we called it lemon, no? um, kinopia natin to sa mga batas sa U.S. Marami silang batas dyan uh, na kapag ang sasakyan ay defective, di mo magamit. They call it lemon eh, pag Tagalog. Ang lemon ba maasim? Oo, <laughs> pwede no. That's a good so, analogy. Uh, Actually, they deliberate sa Congress. So, you, why should we use lemon? Why don't we use our own fruit? Calamansi. Which is calamansi. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's like that. So, 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 it could have been calamansi. <clears throat> so, well, because the industry 
auto industry is used more to the word lemon mm -hmm. to describe defective cars. So, yun ang naging title ng law. No? Mm -hmm. So, yun na nga. Uh, if I remember right, uh, ito pong batas na to ay uh, dalawa o tatlong kongreso na tinalakay at uh, ngayon lang po siya naging batas. No? Uh, because this was pushed uh, by no less than si Senator Aquino sa Senado at saka si Congressman Villar yung counterpart niya sa uh, Kongreso. So, naging batas ito. Yeah. And you said, who uh, will be protected by this Philippine Lemon Law? Well, basically, both sides, consumer and industry, you know, very balanced. This is uh, something which uh, we in DTI uh, always, uh, our objective is to enable business and to empower consumer. The Lemon Law is a best example of that uh, particular uh, vision statement <coughs> of the Department of Trade Industry. So, Kita nga portion ng sinabi ni Atty. Romel, ng Mr. President of Kampi, that uh, it's good for them because there are clear standards and criteria for a defective vehicle. Yes. Po yung it was also mentioned that it will, in fact, encourage more buyers of cars because they'll be more confident uh, sales, about the condition of the car. Sales stock. Oh, eh. <laughs> sales stock. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's ask someone, uh, head of the Automobile Association of the Philippines, when you read the Philippine Lemon Law, do you think, Gus, that this is sufficient to protect the rights of consumers? Siguro first, let's clarify. Sino type of consumers are protected by this law? Uh, well... Those buying brand new uh, mm. cars, no, mm. and um, I agree with uh, Attorney uh, Gutierrez. It's it's really going to be good for both sides, mm. because I believe that with this law, they will be more conscious about quality control of the products that they sell, mm. and uh, and yes, the consumers will feel more confident with the uh, cars that they that mm. they purchase. No? Mm -hmm. So it's good for both sides. And uh, now there is a definition of what a lemon is. Mm -hmm. So mas malinaw ang labanan nila ang Yung consumer under the lemon law, this is one example na ni-expand yung coverage ng consumer. No? Sa consumer act, pag sinuabing consumer, tayo lang eh. Mm -hmm. Better dito sa lemon law, even a uh, corporation who bought or buys a defective car can avail of the privilege. So, this is an exception to the general or universal definition ng consumer. Normally, consumer, individual, mm -hmm. and you use only for your family use, personal use. Pero mga korporasyon dito, pipwede pumasok. Okay. Prior to the Philippine Lemon Law, only mga tao, real mga persons, tao hindi corporations, yes, no. can no. claim pagka may sira yung car, pero it's under the Consumer Protection Act. That's right. Oh. But now, kahit na corporations na owners ng cars Pepe can de. file a complaint. Yes, but, oh. uh, Yusek, siguro let's clarify, kasi a lot of people think, ah, basta bumili ka ng defective cars, automatic, covered ka ng Philippine Lemon Law. So first, let's clarify. Katulad na sinabi ni Gus kanina, it's only for brand new motor vehicles. But, brand new, never been registered either here or abroad, at saka passenger cars only. Mm -hmm. Including uh, SUVs, no? Mm -mm. Hindi po kasali motorsiklo, hindi kasali mga trucks, dump trucks, and all those trailers, no? Uh, sa discussion, because ang, ang mas marami na yata ngayon eh, are motorcycles, no? I think babalangkas na lang ng ibang batas for lemon motorcycles. motorcycle. Okay. But meantime, <clears throat> kotse lang, tsaka yung mga SUVs kasali. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And then it has to be brought sa Pilipinas lang? Hindi, kahit po imported, pwede, imported o purchase here, basta never been registered abroad. Dapat talagang bagong-bago siya. First time mo i-register dito sa LTO, so pwedeng imported. Kakunti naman yung imported, no? Normally, uh, uh, those are the more luxury cars. Exotic cars. Uh, so, yung, yung back ng passenger cars are actually dito. A lot of Ito si Gus, alam naman yan. A lot of cars now are actually imported, completely built unit, mostly from Thailand and, and Vietnam. So, covered po sila ng lemon law. But yun yung kailangan, bumili ka from a dealer, Authorized dealer here in the Philippines. Hindi dito. pwedeng doon. Because I can imagine kung doon yung dealer, tapos 
pinasok mo na lang dito after. That's not covered may, because hindi kaya ng DTIE. May rapan din yun kasi wala kang tinatawag nilang network of services. Hindi ma-offer siya. Dito mo na lang bilhin through their distributors here. If you want a brand abroad na meron naman dito network, dito na lang bilhin through them. Indent order naman tawag dyan eh. So, para ma-cover siya sa lemon privileges. No? Okay. And then I'm curious, so we're talking about coverage here. Unang-una, mm. the consumer has to buy brand new motor vehicles. So, we define motor vehicles. Dapat hindi mga motorcycles, hindi mm. dump trucks. And yung isa pang uh, very important part ng law, yung lemon law rights period. So, not just because brand new yung vehicle mo, I covered ka na. Parang may limitation dito. Ano yung period within which you can still claim yung rights mo under the law? Okay, I'll answer that and maybe cast later. Uh, assuming you buy a brand new car ngayon, tapos dinilibre siya, assuming ngayon din, available. Meron kang uh, 12 months period from the date of delivery or 20,000 kilometer odometer rating, whichever comes first. Yun yung tinatawag na lemon law rights period. Ano ibig sabihin nun to the consumers? No? If magkaroon siya ng non-conformity that impairs yung use niya, yung safety, importante, tsaka yung value niya, na hindi sumasang-ayon sa specification ng sasakyan, at binalik-balik mo po repair, four times mo binalik-balik, hindi magawa. No? <coughs> hindi magawa, then you are now entitled to send a notice. I'm availing of the privileges of the law. Okay. We'll ask more details about that, Yusek. And yeah. of course, Gus, kung ano yung, what do you think about the remedies under the law? But for now, we'll have to take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. The Lemon Law is aimed to protect car buyers from defective cars. According to the Lemon Law, the consumer can report any defects on the newly purchased motor vehicle 12 months after the date of delivery or when the vehicle in question has reached its first 20,000 kilometers of operation. However, the law stresses that consumers can only invoke their rights after four and separate repair attempts. The repairs must be made by the same manufacturer, distributor, and or authorized dealer for the same complaint. And the consumer cannot directly go to the DTI. They must first provide a written notice containing the unresolved complaint and the consumer's intention to invoke his or her rights under the Lemon Law. The consumer must then bring the vehicle to the manufacturer for a final attempt to address the complaint. If the complaint remains unresolved, only then can the consumer proceed to the DTI office. Like any purchase, it is best to check for any defects that might occur while the object is still under warranty or within the period of exchange or refund. As a consumer, be aware of your legal rights and invoke them should the need arise. You're still watching Legal Help Desk with our guests, Undersecretary Victorio Mario Dimagiba of DTI and Gus Laguan of the Automobile Association of the Philippines. You said, Karina, we started yeah. off by saying, kung ano yung covered, which means dapat, uh, it has to be within 12 months from the date of the delivery of the brand new motor vehicle and or kung within 20,000 kilometers pa, whichever comes first. That's right. Oh. So, my question is, what if you've been using the car and then lumampas ka sa 20,000 kilometers, kahit within that year pa? Lalo na if, you know, I have a lot of female friends, talagang walang alam sa car. So, mm. it can happen na gamit lang sila ng gamit and then they found, find out later on na the defect was pre-existing na pala by the mm. time they, from the time they bought it. Mm. So, what would be the remedy in that type so, of case? So, if, if the period, yung 20,000 kilometers, in one year had already lapsed, and then, uh, not, laman natin defective yung vehicle. 
Meron pa naman siyang right eh, yun yung warranty against sa uh, defective vehicle. In fact, at the moment, yun ang ginagamit namin sa DTI in helping consumers uh, who uh, claim that they were able to buy defective vehicle. Ang dami po naming uh, nimimediate na mga cases na involving uh, claims for defective vehicles. So, and it proved to be uh, effective naman yung aming uh, I mean, pagpapalakad, uh, there are some few cases na hindi makuha sa mediation. Had to go, ito ay mga formal process yung adjudication. No? So, yun pong sagot doon, kung lumampas na sa period, hindi po ibig sabihin, wala na siyang karapatan. Meron pa. Because the consumer act is still there. No? Mm -hmm. Yung pong lemon law, sinasabi po dyan, walang binawas sa karapatan ng isang consumer under the consumer act. In fact, that's a good, good point eh. Maybe sa paggawa namin ng IRR, ito nga pong association ni Gas Lagman is invited as a member of the technical working group. Siguro sa IRR, pwede namin ilagay yan eh, na ang option na actually nasa buyer. Ano bang gusto niyang invoke? Lemon law or consumer, consumer protection? Consumer act. Yeah. Pareho okay. po yan. Complementary. One did not repeal the others. Eh. Mm -mm. But... For this law, Philippine Lemon Law, it was designed to address concerns faster. Oh, because it's very limited than Lemon Law. No, the consumer should understand that. It's repair. It makes mention of four repair attempts on the same defect. Defect. What the karamihan ng coach ng complaints sa amin yung may defect ngayon. After a while, babalik iba naman ng defect. No, and then babalik naman iba naman defect. May mga ganon ano. So, may ikot, no? rattling sound, hindi malamang kung saan nagkagaling, uh, mahina ang brakes, no? pinagpahin mga ganang issues. No? But the law says the same, com the same complaint. complaint that impairs use, safety, and value. And then, you have four times to repair. Eh, talaga namang pag four times na hindi mo na-repair. Oh, oh, no? eh. And I was thinking, Kaya, paano kung nag-alternate? Wala nang pag-uusapan doon. 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 Air conditioning, tapos nago alternate sila, so it's hard because it seems like kailangan pa balik balik a four times. But let's talk about the procedure here. You mentioned earlier nonconformity. Paano mo malalaman? So if I were a buyer of a brand new vehicle, in order to know kung applicable tong Philippine Lemon Law, I have to look at first kung meron ba talaga ng nonconformity and I guess, Gus, how would you explain ito to our viewers, lalo na yung mga wala masyadong alam sa kotse? Well, uh, lahat naman tayo, we have an expectation when we buy a vehicle. No? Uh, number one, of course, and I think it should have been the first in the law, is safety. No? And uh, in fact, even in the United States, that is a very, very uh, sensitive issue. And um, manufacturers would even recall hundreds of thousands of cars or millions of cars because of a question on safety. You know? So that should be number one. You mean, also, <clears throat> we can know that in airbags and uh, well, first line. And... You won't know that until mm -hmm. exactly. you get into a happens, road yeah. crash. No? But things like, for example, you step on the brakes mm -hmm. and it keeps on going. Mm -hmm. And this has happened. No? Mm -hmm. uh, Yung pala, as it turned out, it was a defect in, in the floor, on the floor mat. the car mat. Car mat. Oh, the, 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 oh, the floor mat. The uh, car mat, no? Uh -huh. So that's a safety issue, no? And then uh, value, of course. Uh, for example, if the paint is bad, then the value goes down. And if you should want to resell the car later, uh, you know, the value would be lower than what it would normally command. Uh, and then use, uh, which means that it should run. Uh, the reason you bought a vehicle is because you want to go from point A to point B. And if it doesn't happen, then then there's a problem. Yung mga gas, yung mga biglang titiri ka, mander ka sa highway, bigyan ito. There are cases like that na na file sa DTI, no? For no reason, for no reason at all, it stops, no? Babote. Walang kakasunod, et cetera, et cetera. No? So, th those are the kind of things that the, the Lemon Law now addresses. No? Okay. In between kasi the Lemon Law and the Consumer Act, maganda yung procedure niya eh. Simple, no? Four times, no? Assuming it's the same defect. Sa Consumer Act, 
pag dumating na yung mga abogado ng, hmm. ng kumpanya, medyo haba na yun. No? Complicated na. No? <laughs> oh, kasi nakita ko sa Philippine Lemon. Maybe no, they're, that... they're watching na mga tatawa sila. Sila tatawa naman. Eh. And I'm one of those lawyers. But uh, nakita ko rin sa Philippine Lemon Law kasi if you, have, if you reach the point na na file mo na yung complaint sa DTI. The periods are very short. If it's um, mediation, dapat within 10 days ma-resolve. Yes, so if it's adjudication, 20 days. So that's it right. Seems Kasi na yun, ang aming, yun ang aming timeline for all consumer complaints. Not mm -hmm. only for this, at nagpapasalamat kami sa Kongreso, in nila yung aming procedures. No? In 10 working days in mediation, and 20 working days in adjudication. Mm -hmm. so, okay, yeah. Yusek and Gus, we will answer questions now from our viewers, of course, with your help. So we have first with from Richard. I bought a brand new car uh -huh. six months ago, but almost every month a problem occurs. Since it's, since it's still under warranty, the dealership kept repairing it. But when I asked if it was possible for them to replace the unit instead, they said no. Is this right? What are my rights as a consumer? So it seems like si Richard pasok pa sa Philippine yes. Lemon Law because it was right. within six months and we have to qualify lang na Richard dapat wala pang 20, lampas ng 20,000 yeah. kilometers. Can, 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 I don't, can we read again the question? Mm -hmm. Dinko masyadan mm -hmm. uh, so, so Richard bought a car six months ago. So within six months. Six months, ago, months before yes. the Lemon Law. Pero every month daw, mm -hmm. meron nalang problem that keeps occurring and since under warranty pa siya, he went back to the dealership and asked if it is possible to replace it, but the dealership said no. Mm. He's asking and, if yeah. it's that right and what are his rights as a yeah, consumer. Under the Consumer Act, tatlong ang rights niya, redress niya. In fact, yung repair, out of the question, kasi lagi ni re repair mm -hmm. You can actually demand a replacement or a refund under the Consumer Act. Yun yung warranty rights niya. I won't comment first on whether the Lemon Law will apply to him. Because he bought the car six months ago, meaning ang batas naman naging August August seven lang naging effective. Yeah. No? Oh, so oh. I won't comment on that, dahil. Uh, Kailang perspective. Dahil lang rule perspective, uh, no. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but pero pinag-aralan namin. In fact, I'll bring this up sa first meeting ng technical working group. I also want to sound out the industry and some of the experts on whether it can be given retroactive effect, no. Uh, I naman mga issues dyan. But as of now, I don't want to answer that mm -hmm. under the Lemon Law. Yeah. Consumer ako na, yes, he can demand replacement or refund. Uh -oh. Oh, replacement or re refund because obviously, Richard, yung repair has not been working. But That's right. according to you, Sec, Vic, as well, titignan pa kung magiging applicable yung Philippine Lemon Law. Kasi nga, uh, generally, sa ilalim ng batas natin, if a new law is passed, Kailangan sa current and future cases yan applicable, meaning from the time ma pass yung law. Hindi po for past events. So in this case, nabili na six months That's ago. Right. No? Yeah. Pero meron mm -hmm. consumer uh, oh, oh. protection. Yes, act, yeah. and under the Consumer yeah. Act, he, you can get a re mm -hmm. uh, repair is not working. It's either a refund or replacement. So mali yun sinasabi sa kanya na hindi po yung replacement. Uh, mali yan. Yan mm -hmm. ang siguro ipayal yan na yung complaint sa DTI. Dumaan na ng mediation and then... Uh, I'm sure sa mediation, magkakaroon ng konting tunes yan. In mediation kasi, hindi naman what the consumer asks is what was given. No? So, mm -hmm. give and take din eh. But then, they, they, they settle most of the time. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's very comforting <laughs> for Richard. And I think he'll look for you, you sec, Vic. Sige, <laughs> sige, <laughs> Richard. Okay. Thank you for helping us answer that. We'll take another short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these reminders. We're still tuned in to Legal Help Desk, and we still have with us Under Secretary Victorio Mario Di Magiba and Gus Lagman. So, kanina we were talking about one yung coverage mm -hmm. ng law, and then some of the procedures. First, check for nonconformity, and now let's go to the point na kunwari you really discover that there is nonconformity in the vehicle, and then you bring it for repair. Uh, one interesting point I found in the law are your remedies. Kasi in the meantime, you have no car. So, 
maybe Gus, you can enlighten us. Yeah. If you lose your car kasi pinapa-repair mo, mm. what can you get from the dealer, manufacturer, or distributor? Sana, they can provide a service vehicle no? mm -mm. while the, the car is being repaired. No? Mm -mm. Um, that would help. And anyway, most dealers would have a lot of service vehicles that they can afford to, to lend. No? Uh, because it's not fair to the consumer <clears throat> that you know he paid a million pesos and then now he can't use mm -hmm. it because it goes back and forth. You said, Vic, this is provided in the law, right? Yeah, the law. Either you get the transportation allowance or yeah. a service vehicle. Yes, yeah, so, 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 reasonable transportation allowance. Yeah. I think in the in the law basa batas eh, at one point we were considering at least uh Eh, siguro, hindi na rin valid yun, 200 pesos per day taxi, no? <laughs> per day ba? Kasi ang nabasa ko sa law, <laughs> the law says, um, it, it should be, doble na. Oh. Oo, kasi nakalagay sa law, it should be equivalent, yung reasonable amount ng transportation allowance na kailangan ibigay sa consumer is the value of an air-conditioned taxi from yeah. their home oh, to, to their the destination office, or uh, workplace and and back and back forth base, or yun nga, service vehicle. Service vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Siguro, most likely, ah, uh, the IR will be more on the monetary because I don't think there are too many service vehicles that uh, uh, a dealer can provide. No? So, more on the, even sa deliberation naman sa Congress, no? yun naman talagang consensus. No? I mean, they're willing, I mean, the industry is willing to give that amount to compensate for the lack of this, mm. the yeah. mobility yeah. ng yeah. nakabili na under repair yung vehicle. No? In, back, in fact, right now, kahit wala pang lemon, no? Yung mga talagang defective vehicle na nasa kasa, wala nang ano yun, nag open na sila kagad ng service vehicle. Ng, ng service vehicle. No. Okay. Very open na sila. Yung isa sa siguro magiging contentious ng konti is yeah. the monetary... How much? Oh, how much, <laughs> no? And the other is yung, uh, let's say I brought it back twice mm. on the same defect, and then another thing happens, mm -hmm. and now it's three times. So that's five, but different defects, mm -hmm. no? Uh, so, you know, how, how will that be resolved? Mm -hmm. uh, especially because sometimes you bring a car for repairs and then they would discover something else. Yeah. No? Madalas ganun eh. Na, and you get well, billed. Ako, as dito, when... as dito, ang sagot ko dyan, sa consumer app na. Consumer Kasi app. Kasi defective yung vehicle yeah. eh. Mm -hmm. Pag in-insist niya sa lemon, Bak hindi siya magko-comply, sayang. Mm -mm. No? Parang dun na, I Correct. think, that's one yeah. of the weaknesses of the oh. law. Um, mm. To the extent na it requires four times na repair for the same complaint and for the same defect. But mm -hmm. Gus is right. Sometimes, pagdala mo dun, dalawa na yung problema bigla or iba mm -hmm. na nag-alternate din. Mm -hmm. So, mapapatagal ka yeah. na pagbalik sa'yo mm -hmm. and who knows. Paano, uh, Yusek Vic, pagkakunwari yung fourth time that the same defect mm -hmm. happens, lumampas na dun sa one year or sa 20,000 kilometers? Does uh, it go outside the coverage of the Lemon Law? No. Pasok pa rin siya kasi ang bibilangin dyan yung the first. Eh. First time. In fact, dito nga sa IRR, we will develop a simple form na even sa first attempt to repair, meron na kagad notice eh, para nalalagbok na siya, kung baga, no? Mm -mm. So, pagdating sa port, hindi pa rin na-repair, formality na lang yung notice that I'm availing of my rights, no? Mm -hmm. Baga, meron na siyang history. You know, an unscrupulous uh, uh, dealer might tell the repair shop, o ay, pagka mga twice na or three times. Gabi mo na. Sabi, hindi. <laughs> Sabi mo, iba na yung defect. Mm, uh -huh. Pwede. And uh -huh. for someone na wala masyadong alam sa cars, it Ayan. can happen na, sige, tanggapin alam mo lang. Alam mo ang sagot ko dyan, uh, dyan sila papasok, yung automotive association na <laughs> Philippines. Dahil sa batas, kami ay nirequire na humingi ng tulong ng mga experts. In fact, mm -hmm. isa yan sa aming gagawin. Yeah. Meron kami pool of experts na tutulong uh, sa amin. Uh, that would be helpful, uh, Gus, kasi uh, yeah. I was, when I was yeah. reading the law, I was thinking, for lalo na yung mga walang alam sa kotse, how do they even know na successful yung first attempt? Because you might be using the car again, tapos hindi agad lumabas yung failure pala nung first attempt ng repair. Mm -hmm. So they need experts to say right. na ayos or hindi para oh, they know yeah. whether to do it. Yun yun eh. Uh, oh, oh, exactly. You can say that. Eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Buti hindi ka nag-invite ng auto industry dito. Kasi sila, <laughs> ang sinasabi naman nila, 
Baka daw yung consumer naman ng mag-out of bounds <clears throat> ng exercise ng rights nila. No? So, mm. kaya nga, enable business, empower consumer. Kaya dapat, pangangit na kami talaga dito. Mm. Kailangan ng IRR namin ay balansyado talaga. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, let's lay out the procedure. So, una-una, if you've noticed a defect, you bring it to the manufacturer, right. uh -huh. the dealer, or the distributor mm -hmm. to repair it. And you have to give and the... Notice. the the notice already, or, or, yeah. four times yeah. na attempts to repair the same mm -hmm. defect for the same complaint and pag nag fail yon you can give the notice of availment of your rights under yeah. the yeah yan ang Nine. kailangan namin ayusin may and we will need their help kasi yung notice of the first repair attempt ano yun mm -hmm. how you will describe that mm -hmm. and then uh, then the second to the consumer ang alam niya problema pa rin is break no Eh, una, yung brake, marami, pag sinayin mong brake sa engineer, maraming component yan. No? Eh, kung mag-iba-iba nga naman yung description dun sa, iba when you bring it to the service shop, yeah. they yeah. put in, ano po complain nyo, then mm -hmm. they lag. So, kailangan maliwanag. It's the same defect, no? Meaning, if the complaint is on brake system, yun pala yun yung brake. Yeah. No? Ayun ang general. Hindi pwede mong isa naman yung consumer na, gagamitin mo yung technicality na ibang piyesa ng brake. Uh, sabihin, repair kit, marami niya, brake drum, ang daming ganun. Ano? Mm -hmm. Pero brake system pa rin siya. Correct. Andun lahat yun. Yes. Tama ba yun? Oh, uh, tama. 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 Oh, yes. tama yan, oh. So you will have to set up a consultant desk in every <laughs> well, <laughs> distributor. <laughs> sabi uh, we'll try to get as many uh, very technical people mm. who can assist especially in the mediation. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because, yeah, especially mediation, because if you have someone who does not know anything about cars, mm -hmm. mahirap makipag-negotiate kung ano yung dapat niyang uh, exactly. makuha na rights after. That's right. That's we right. still have some questions from our viewers. From, from David, David. <coughs> since the Lemon Law only covers brand new cars, is it possible that it, <laughs> it will be amended anytime soon to cover second-hand vehicles? I bought a second-hand vehicle with an assurance that it was in good condition only to spend more than 30,000 pesos on repairs. And I want to file a case against the seller. What law can I use instead to fight for my rights as a consumer? That's it. If it's not second-hand, it's not possible. But there's a tip Never mind the lemon law, but it's a warranty. Look at his warranty certificate. If yung vehicle is still the warranty period. Even kung second owner na siya, kung nasa warranty period pa siya, he can enjoy the, warrant, the remaining period of the warranty. No? So, pwede yan under the Consumer Act. No? Assuming wala na rin, out of warranty, uh, ano yung question niya? Out of warranty, pagkatapos mm -hmm. eh, as is where is eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko malam kung binenta sa kanya, as is where is. Kung as is where is, mukhang... Wala na siyang, yeah, hindi niya makahabol din yung seller uh, for the 30,000 pesos that he spent uh, 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 for the mga repairs. Uh, but uh, kunwari, <coughs> I guess another thing uh, that he can do is check the contract of sale. Pwede. Kasi kung uh, ginarantee doon ng seller, na, nung seller ng second hand car, that it is in good condition, walang sira, then he can actually go after right. that seller uh, uh, for damages uh, uh, yeah, as well. Uh, uh, no? Okay. Yes, but very uh, few sellers will agree to put that clause. Yes, clause, that's true. No? Oh, oh, that's true. I'm sure you have it based on your experience. But for purposes of going to the DTI, can consumers go to the DTI and complain about the mga defects or oh, yes. repairs yes, na yeah. tight second-hand cars? Yes. Even second-hand cars, pinapatignan namin kung within the warranty period. Mm -mm. At pag within the warranty period, uh, you enjoy it. When you buy second-hand car, lalo na ngayon, <coughs> um, some cars uh, offer three years. Three years, no? Mm. Eh, may mga talaga, after one year, yung mga hilis ng kotse, they sell it down. No? You still enjoy the balance, no? Okay. Check lang ni David kung uh, ano yung kanyang pinirmahan, ano yung kanyang booklet, kung nandudun pa at the time uh, na binili niya, kung within the warranty period pa siya. Ang lakas pa ng ano niya, rights niya. Uh, against Except the seller, that no? he has to bring it to the dealer. Yeah. Di ba? Hindi pwede sa ibang uh, uh, repairs siya. Yeah. Yeah. Wawala yung warranty. Uh, but even, even before the Lemon Law, ang aming coordination sa automotive companies, uh, 
Basta within the warranty period yung kotse, kahit sino yung may-ari na, ini-entertain pa nila yung warranty rights niya. Mm. No. Okay. It, the warranty goes to the seller. Eh. But the lemon law is another story. Eh. Ito talaga brand new. Eh. Mm. Hindi siguro ma-amendahan to cover mm. second Probably hand, another uh, legislation uh, if necessary. Uh, 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 mm. yeah. But at least good news for David and other uh, buyers uh, of second-hand cars. You still have remedies, uh, uh, particularly under the Consumer Protection Act. And you can also still go to the DTI if it's still covered within the warranty period. And of course, you have the civil code, generally for damages or para dun sa mga breaches ng contract of sale. Okay, we have another question from Andy. Does the Lemon Law cover brand new vehicles that were involved in accidents because of a defect that was discovered during the investigation? So, ito pag nagkaroon po ng accident. Ako, sagot ko, yes. Mm. Defective, irrespective <coughs> of when or where it was discovered. Uh -oh. mm -mm. Although you said, Vic, I want to get clarification pala. Nakalagay sa law na hindi covered ng Philippine Lemon Law yung uh, defects or non-conformity ng motor vehicle if uh, the defect is due to force majeure. So I guess force majeure would be, uh, or accident. So those are pag, ano, mga flooding and pagka, kunwari, accident caused by a collision. Hindi na siya kasama, no? Collision, pag no. Pero question is, during the investigation, there was mm -hmm. a finding that there was a defect in the vehicles. I guess that can be under the lemon law. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And it caused the uh, road crash. Yeah. Oh. Safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. a safety issue. It's a safety issue. Mm -hmm. oh. So in that case, if the cause of the accident is the defect itself, yeah. then it's covered by the Philippine Lemon Law. Yes. Oh. Should, oh. Be. Okay. Yeah. Should be. Oh, should, should be. Should okay. be. Otherwise, walang binigay na bagong karapatan sa mga In fact, I think his claim <laughs> can be higher, no? Mm -hmm. Can be stronger. And, and that's the whole purpose of the Lemon Law meaning non-conformity non that impairs your safety. Yeah. Very clear. Ang ganda nga example niya. Mm -mm. Mm. Thank you. We still have more to discuss. <laughs> Legal Help Desk will be back, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Legal Help Desk with our guests, Yusek Victorio Di Magiba and Gus Lagman. So now we'll talk about remedies naman. So assuming you already sent the same vehicle for the same problem four times mm -hmm. and then hindi pa rin na ayos. And then of course you already gave yung tinatawag natin notice of availment mm -hmm. to that same manufacturer, distributor or, or dealer. Uh, what happens next, Yusek? Tatbo na sa DTI. So, sa, sa pupunta na sa inyo. Okay. <laughs> punta na sa DTI. Okay. Punta na sa DTI. Uh, Lodge a complaint with DTI. And then, uh, immediately, we'll schedule a mediation. Uh, okay. So, may mediators tayo sa pusina. Pagkaharapin na sila. So, 10 working days. Uh, assuming successful, our record shows sa uh, mga 75% uh, of complaints are settled by mediation. But... That's a high, 20, high average, 75%. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you, you say at this point, hindi pa kailangan magdala ng lawyer? Uh, we do not encourage lawyers in mediation. <laughs> pero sabi nga nila, when the lawyer is already there, lang ang magawa yung mediator. No? <laughs> Una -una, my, our mediators the mediator are actually is, not lawyers. It's not a lawyer, uh, yeah. In fact, uh, <clears throat> some of them are law graduates. No? Pero as a rule, in mediation, we do not encourage lawyers. Eh, kasi... Nawawala yung, ano eh, nawawala yung dapat niyang gawin. Mm -hmm. Nadi-discuss yung law na hindi kailangan i-discuss yung law. Oh, eh. oh. Okay. That, that's true. Actually, under our Alternative Dispute Resolution uh -huh. Act, pag mediation nga, normally bawal ang lawyers eh. Bawal Kasi nga. Kasi I think oh. it recognizes the fact na ang tagal. So, na, I'm a mediator who is a doctor mediation. of medicine. Mm -hmm. Ayan, ito yung bagong dinagdag sa lemon law eh. Normally, pag hindi successful ang mediation, immediately in pale mediation, adjudication. May dinagdag yung law, eh, yung arbitration. Mm -hmm. Giving the parties the option to go to someone else, not DTI, na mag-arbitrate ng case niya. Nabawa, 
si Gus lang man, very technical issue, maaari silang pumunta sa kanila. Mm -hmm. no? Tapos they will ask them to mediate, to arbitrate. To be the arbitrator. Arbitrate, no? So yun, mm -hmm. sa kanila yun. <coughs> Pero after that, kung wala pa rin silang kasunduan, tsaka sila pwede bumalik sa DTI adjudication, adjudication na. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung dinagdag uh, during the bicameral conference na. Kasi wala yan dun sa version ng Senado at saka Kongreso. Pero doon yung bicameral, at si Congressman Rufus Rodriguez ang nag-introduce niya eh, ipinasok niya. Kasi yun daw yun nasa ADR law mm -hmm. na merong after mediation, you go to arbitration. Eh, pinaliliwanag namin sa DTI na sa amin, yung arbitration, yung adjudication, we interchangeably use that eh. Mm -hmm. Pero sabi niya... Arbitration eh, yata is when you choose three people. Pwede uh, three, pwede one. Pwede one. Uh -huh. yeah. Selection ng isa. Uh -huh. uh, Kaya lang, ano na yan, uh -huh. gas ha? And then a common. Uh -huh. yeah. In, may cost na yan. Eh, yung mediation, yung adjudication, wala kami wala. filing fee. Mm -hmm. We don't collect mm -hmm. filing fee. And the, the complaint, is it simple enough? Anong itsura po ng complaint na kailangan i-file sa DTI? Actually, notice lang yan eh. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't even require verified complaint eh. So ano really, you really talagang, for We, consumers out there, oh, madali no, lang buhay madali, nila. Hindi kayo nila kailangan mag-hire ng lawyer to draft the complaint. Mas kayo na text, saka email, tinatanggap namin. <laughs> eh. <laughs> oh, wag na natin ibig pamigay yung number mo, yung sec, mabig na dumami yung mag-text. Hindi, <laughs> mamaya, yeah, yung call center number ang uh, ibibigay okay, ko. We'll share that, yung call center uh, uh, ng DTI. We yeah. have more questions from our viewers. From Cheska. Do I really have to wait after the 12th month since purchasing the lemon car before filing a case with the DTI? What if the car is beyond repair despite many efforts? I think hindi clear kay Cheska na uh, actually, to be covered by the Philippine law, Lemon Law, kailangan within 12 months. Yeah, no need to wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. Immediately, uh, Cheska ba yung pangalan niya? Mm -hmm. Immediately, pag na-notice mo na defective, file, punta ka na kagad. Oh. No need to wait for the 12 months. Mm -hmm. And again, for previous purchases, they have the option to use uh, actually, they should be using Consumer Protection Act kasi hindi pa clear na applicable na sa kanila yung Philippine Lemon That's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So they can go directly to DTI. Next question is from Alex. What can I demand from the car dealership while my car is being repaired? Can I ask for a loaner car? Uh, yes. I think pinag yeah. natin, natin yan. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Gus, maybe uh, you can well, share replacement, yung... Replacement car, uh, service, service vehicle, or... A uh, certain amount of money, an allowance, that uh, will take care of your transportation on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. But again, what amount that is, is going to be the subject matter of uh, uh, oh, oh. technical IR, working yeah. group. Yeah. Also, I saw in the law na one yung reasonable <coughs> allowance nga, dapat air-conditioned taxi. Yeah. Pero kung hindi magka-agree yung purchaser or consumer, and the dealer or distributor manufacturer, they can go to DTI to settle yeah. the... Pero wala naman yata ang taxi ngayon na hindi air-conditioned. Oo nga, Evie. Meron mga air-conditioned, pero mga mga palya. Pero all of them have air-conditioned. Okay. Nakalagay sa labas. That's good to know. Mainit pa naman sa Pilipinas. Our last question is from Joel. Aside from replacement, what other remedies can I demand from the dealer in case it is proven that there is non-conformity? Well, you know, monetary uh, refund. Refund, yeah. Uh, refund ng sagot doon. Oo, oh, oh. ah, okay. Refund, so, pag yeah. hindi replacement, refund. Ah, you, you, and this is less, where I want... Less the uh, reasonable use. Yes, no? use like Which the law defined, no? mm -hmm. which is 20% uh, per, year, per year. Or... Um, oh, so, actually, may formula dito may na formula, may memorize ko na. Medyo, Pag refund, kailangan ibawas yung reasonable allowance for use. That's so it's right. either 20% per annum of the purchase price uh -huh. or, or it's it should be kung anong kilometers na yung tinakbo. So for example, yeah. 10,000 kilometers times the purchase price yeah. divided by 100,000 pesos. Uh, no, sorry, 100,000 100, kilometers. Oh, 100, Whichever kilometers. is lower. Whichever is lower. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. kung ano yung amount that it will come up <clears throat> with between those two formulas, kung ano yung mas maliit, yun yung ibabawas sa purchase price, okay. and that will be the total refund amount that you're entitled to That's get. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's so, right. kailangan na naman na someone from the automotive, or at least a mathematician yeah. to help you well, compute, no? 20,000 kilometers a year, a year parang lumalabas. Alam mo yan, 20,000 kilometers a year. 
gamit na gamit yan eh. Uh, That's a car na you use every day. That's right. Uh, mm -mm. That's about 1,600 uh, a month. But if, if your car is your second car, you'll not probably hit 20,000 right. in one year. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kaya ang aming advice sa consumer with the lemon law, use your car as much as possible. Kasi sayang yung lemon law privileges nila eh. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and also, you cannot discover normally the defects yeah, that's right. unless ginagamit mo talaga. And considering na kailangan malaman mo within one year, then kung hindi mo masyadong ginagamit, baka mamaya kung kailan a year and two months after, dun mo pa makita yung yeah. mga defects. Mm -hmm. Jaka, we almost overlook one very important requirement of the law. Yung kailangan nung mag natin gagalawin yung kotse. Huwag okay, natin yeah, modify. Huwag natin kung ano-ano ilalagay natin sa makina, you know, with all those ads on uh, energy efficiency, things like that. Pag nag-alter mo yung, yung, yung warranty mo, then that will void your rights under the Lemon Law. Even so, under the Warranty Act, pareho rin sa warranty. Yun eh. So, palampasin mo muna yung one year o yung 20,000 kilometers Before bago mo i-update yeah. o i-modify. I that, uh, may modify. Modify. Yeah. Oo, I, but, Yusek, Vic and Gus, what are the modifications na considered to take you out of the coverage of the Lemon Law or Consumer Protection Act? Ano ba to? Pag nagpalit ka ng mags, pinalitan mo yung tambucho mo, what are the... Kasi may iba, di ba? They want it to be mm -hmm. like parang race car types. Or well, marami. Like Even uh, yung mga energy boosters mm -hmm. uh, that will probably disqualify you. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it would be the same as uh, the normal warranty that a dealer provides. Yung, no? No? Anything you, you violate that. Anything you alter and then uh, you touch on the electrical system of the car, can mm -hmm. be a modification. Mm -hmm. Pag mga accessories lang, kunwari you change the clutch into yung, yung mga dati, di ba, may uso yung wooden, yung mga Papali Italian brands. Gagalawin mo? I mm -hmm. mean, the, uh, na pwede. Mas na, mas na may tinanggal kang bolts and nuts dun eh. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ano na yun eh? Medyo part na ng alteration yun eh. Okay. You're giving them a reason to say no. Okay. Yeah. When you do that. That's no. very helpful. So for viewers out there, take uh, note. Before you do any alterations or modifications to your brand new vehicle, antayin nyo na lang muna na matapos yung mm. one year or 20,000 kilometers of running the car before you do all of those modifications or alterations or else you will be taken out of the coverage of the Philippine Lemon Law or baka even under the warranty that yeah. will allow Can you also to enjoy the rights warranty. under the Consumer oh, yeah. Protection yeah. Act. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah. And then, ano po ba mga importanteng provision ng batas? No, after everything is said and done, lemon. So, nabayaran ka na o napalitan ka na. Yung kotse na yun, aayusin yun eh. Na pwede pa rin yung isell. Pero dapat itatatakan na siya ng lemon vehicle. Okay, Yan po, nag-umpisa po tayo, what is why we call it lemon. Mm -mm. Yan po magandang ending doon. Tatatakan po yun ng lemon. <laughs> hindi lang po porque tatatakan siya ng lemon. Pag hindi mo ginawa yun, may multa sa batas. Mm -mm. 100,000 pesos. Nagbinenta mo na hindi siya lemon. Even LTO will have to register it as a lemon vehicle. Kaya kasalid din po sila sa pagbalangkas ng IRR. That's very um, helpful. And yeah. I'm sure pag ganon, you can ask for a discount. A bigger discount. Oh, yeah. Kasi Malaki na yan. Oh, oh. Malaki oh. na yan. Sige. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yusek Vic, and thank you, Gus. Uh, those are very helpful tips, and I'm sure very, very helpful for all car purchases out there. That is all the time we have for tonight. We'd like to thank our guests, Undersecretary Victorio Mario Dimagiba of the Department of Trade and Industry, and Gus Lagman, Chairperson of the Automobile Association of the Philippines, for being with us tonight. If you have any questions or comments on tonight's episode, you may post these at our Facebook and Twitter pages. And if you have missed any of our episodes, you can watch these at your convenience anytime, anywhere by downloading the Solar News Channel app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. Good night.